What's up guys, welcome back to SoundSpeed757 and today I will be doing a tutorial. I heard earlier I did a tutorial about how to fix the Skyrim mods not working. Where like you go in there would be like a texture or something that's not loaded. Like I uh, bought this store for Solitude, not bought it, but I um, got a store for Solitude a mod. I uh, went to the store, there's supposed to be a sign hanging from the store, but the sign wasn't there, there was just the post for it. Then I went inside and there's supposed to be pictures and stuff on the walls, but n it wasn't there. None of it was there. So I started looking into it, and I was asking around trying to figure out how to fix it, and I asked this one guy, and he said, all you have to do is these simple steps, and that is what I will show you today, and it has worked for me, and I had a video up earlier, it's still up there, but I'm just making a new one since I have a better mic now, so I can show you how to do it, and just follow this tutorial, and then I'll show you how to fix Skyrim mods not working. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your web browser, whatever that is, you want to, um, once it opens up, you're going to search Skyrim, not Skyrim, Skyrim Script Extender, or SKSE if you want to do that. That's easier to type in my opinion. Then right here, right here at the top, you're going to see uh, one, two, three, three options. I would click the installer, that's what I've used, that's all I used to do it. You're going to save the file. Doesn't matter where you save it, really, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna save it for now. I'm gonna save it in the downloads folder. So save. File saved. Then what you wanna do is just run it. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna reinstall it again. But yeah, you just go through these steps and it'll guide you through the installation. I think it's like two or three steps, it's not very much. But right here you want to make sure that this is your Skyrim directory, and you can always check that by going to your file explorer. And for me it's computer, my computer, then Steam, Steam apps, common, Skyrim. You want to put it into the top of the Skyrim folder, and where you see all this stuff, like the data, meshes, patchers, and all, a lot of this stuff isn't here if you don't use mods, but some of it is. Uh, you probably figure that out. You probably already know that by now anyway. So then, once you have that installed, you're going to go ahead and run Skyrim. Okay. With the launcher real quick. Skyrim. So I make sure it doesn't launch in full screen. So I'm going to set up to record that. Skyrim launch. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. Not launcher, launcher. There you go. Okay, Skyrim launcher. Now this is just for me. You don't have to do this. Options. Oh, okay. It is already in window mode. Exit. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch Skyrim. Okay. And that little message that popped up, that was a booster thing that I have on there to make it run faster on my computer, because my computer's kind of crap. So, I'll put a link either as an annotation or in the description, or both, uh, to that video that I showed on how to reduce the Skyrim lag, if you have any issues with the lagging in Skyrim. And believe me, it works. People have commented, said it worked for them. So, you can check it out if you want. So now that we have Skyrim loaded, almost loaded. You probably already got it up. Okay, come on, Scott, don't be a dick. Okay, there we go. You're gonna open up your console and type get SKSE version. Oh wait, get SKSE version. Yeah, type it, no spaces, my bad. And if it pulls up SKSE version, then it shows the version that's running, then that means you have SKSE on and it's working. So now you can go ahead and close out of Skyrim. If you've already got the mods installed, you don't need to uninstall them. If it doesn't work, you might need to uninstall them or reinstall them, but um, the next step is very simple also. You want to go to your... I'll go from the computer so you can see all the way to it. My computer, you go to users, your user, then you go to documents, 
then there will be a folder called my games go into it and then the folder skyrim open that up and now if see how that says dot ini some people it'll just say uh skyrim with no file extension to it if you want to be able to see that to make sure you're finding the right file go over here into the view tab and uncheck and check file name extensions see how it just says skyrim if i check file name extensions then it'll show the dot ini so what you're going to want to do is you're going to delete that and then run skyrim well, now whenever you run skyrim after that has been deleted it'll see it'll recreate the dot ini file and that will be configured to run the mods so your mods should be working at this point, you should be able to play with no problem, and you want to make sure you launch the Skyrim from the SKSE launcher, not the Skyrim launcher. If you launch from the Skyrim launcher, it's not going to break anything, it's just some of the mods won't work. Or, all of them may not work, I don't know. But another main mod that requires SKSE is the uh, Sky UI mod. So... When you open the game, the mod should be running, and yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope it was better than the last one and a little more in-depth and helped you understand it better. And better voice, that's the main reason I did it. But also, if you have any questions, put it in the comments, and I will respond to you. I've responded to everyone in the past, or almost everyone. I try to do my best. And if you liked it, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe.